Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival. I'm Carol Kahn and we are coming to you live from the Sedona Rouge Hotel and Spa. Sedona Rouge, one of our sponsors for this year's festival along with Broadcast Rentals and Sedona Advertising Agency. Thank you to all of our sponsors for this year's festival. And it gives me such great pleasure to introduce <laughs> to a very dear friend of mine, uh, Chandra, Chandra Jefferson, and your film Greed Incorporated. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. I just want to run over and give you a hug, but I know that's not going to happen. Well, <laughs> we're glued to our seats. <laughs> but, um, you know, this has been such an amazing pleasure for me sitting on this end of it watching you through your journey and actually putting this together. Because if anybody here lives in Sedona, I think everybody knows Chandra. I mean, you're, you're, you're Thank you, you're that's very just, sweet of you. You know, so dialed into to entertainment here and um, you and your husband, Tom, just two beautiful people who um, I actually met from the first time I came here in Sedona. I know, I remember that. Yeah. I remember, yeah. So Tom and I have been here for 17 and a half years. And it's been, boy, talk about a journey, and we just kind of hit the ground running because I got our packages out two months before we got here. So we knew a lot of people before we actually got here, and we were working immediately doing our shows. We had some very synchronistic Sedona moments that happened that really helped us, really propelled us right in there. So it's been great. But we've worked very hard. I want to make sure everybody knows it wasn't, like, handed to us. We showed up to everything, even things that were not pertinent to us. So like, oh my God, there they are again. It was like that, <laughs> you know, for like three or four years. Well, I think you're, icon first of all, you're iconic to Sedona. But on top of it, you are a singer, you're an actress, you are a writer, you yes. have composed music. Um, yes. All of that, a very talented uh, individual and mm -hmm. um, yes, a very dear friend. So um, I'll talk a little bit about your film. How did that all come together for you? Well, I met somebody that doing on-camera work, a gentleman named Roland March, and he had this idea for a film, and he hired me to do one of the fundraising kind of things on camera. Well, that funding never happened. And we kept talking, and he gave me this title, Greed Incorporated, which is in this avant-garde dance movie about the feathered serpent. And I said, you know, Roland, why don't you just let me write a song? I can write a song with that title. And we'll just see what we can do with it. I'll get the song out. Maybe we'll get some funding from the song because it's a very timely message about greed, yeah. right, in our social climate. And so I did. And I remember him sitting in my studio and I'm playing with my acoustic guitar singing this. And he went, oh, my God, this is what how do we get this recorded? So he funded. He's my executive producer, Roland March. He's also a sculptor. And he's ama an amazing artist, and he is a talk about iconic, and people really love him. So Roland just, he went ahead and funded uh, the budget to go in, for me to go in and produce the song. And I used, I have to give a big shout out to Robin Miller and also Eddie Baratini. And then Eddie and I uh, mixed it, and, and I, I basically I produced it in the studio. So we kept doing that. And then another really close friend of ours, Terry Frankel, I asked her, I said, so you've heard the song? And she said, you know what you need to do is make a music video. So I went back to Roland and I said, Roland, we have to make a music video. <laughs> he goes, okay, what's that gonna cost, you know? And so we made the music, I made the music video, which was difficult because the images are really edgy. And I, and I actually created this music video out of the guidance of Terry Frankel, who said, listen, you know my politics, but I'm gonna give you some advice. Take all the pictures you can that are very far left without naming names and all that. And she goes, so just go ahead and get it out there and you will have a huge following and it's gonna be a major hit. This is your smash hit after all these years. This is the one. I'm like, okay, it's a heavy metal song. I am not a heavy metal artist, although it's a very heavy metal. So anyway, uh, so I did that. And then I showed it to my husband, Tom, my partner, you know, and also Roland. And they sat there with their mouths open and they, it was this feeling of like darkness <laughs> and I had this thought, I should pass this by my friend Eric Marcus, who is a friend of the festival, but he's also a copyright lawyer. And he said, Chandra, 168 images, 168 lawsuits. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he goes, you can't use images of people without permission. I'm like, yeah, I know that. What was I thinking? You know. So what happened was he said, you have to do it all over again. So I did. This time I made it a lot more broad, and so I got into Shutterstock, and Roland paid for all that. And I 
found the images. I had the first one, so I used that. And I created some altered images. We paid for the licensing and all of that for the time, you know, certain mm -hmm. amount of sure. views and all of that. So anyway, then it became, well, I, I promoted that and then it became, well, what do we do next? And since I coach, I was thinking, what would I tell a student? And I thought, oh, I'd find out if there's any music video festivals or anything like that. And I actually spoke to Jeremy Hawks, who's the person in charge of all this media here. And he who's said, that? Jeremy <laughs> Hawks, who's sitting in the house. Hi, Jeremy. I'll give you credit for this, Jeremy. And he said, yeah, there's tons of them and you need to do that. So that's how this started. And so we entered 21 festivals. Roland flipped the bill for that. And uh, I didn't even really think of Sedona because we don't have a music video category. But I'll tell you what, it took us to Ireland, took Tom and I to Ireland, mm -hmm. it took us to New York, it won a finalist award in Virginia, and uh, it won a Bob Fosse award, a semi-finalist in the, Ar I'll see if I can say this right, Arm Chord Art House Chicago Television Awards. Oh. So that was fun. So it was. this is our ninth festival. Mm -hmm. And it's in the short, it's in the short narrative or narrative short. First music video that's ever been in the festival. Okay, so let's take a look at this and then we'll talk more. Th this is this is it, because we don't have a trailer. Oh, this is it. So this is this is it right here. This is it. This image has given a few people grief. I just say that. I'll tell you why. Because when I did the music video, and I'm not gonna name anybody's name, so don't panic. Um, because I love everybody here, I really do. And I knew that this was going to raise some eyebrows. Because everybody thinks of me as Julie Andrews around here. <laughs> That's Not true. really, I don't I have a voice like that. When I that, heard your voice but, on this, you know, I was like, is that yeah. Chandra? No, yeah. no, it can't be. <laughs> yes, it's me. And I keep telling everybody that I have a rock and roll background. I sang rock and roll for years. Not quite this intense, I must admit. But you know, I've written a lot of songs and I have CDs out and some of them are very rock and edgy. But this is really by far edgy because the message is very intense. And so I actually posted it up and it showed up on my Facebook page. Somebody saw it as it, they thought that it showed up on Veterans Day. And I got a lot of hell for that um, from a few people. You know, it was like, but not too bad. It was just like, you're really going to talk about American greed? American greed? Oh, I love America. I'm a big American, I love being an American. And greed is everywhere, actually. But I did focus on American greed because uh, we have a lot of it here. We do, and I think- And I'm and an I American, so I would know that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a European talking about American greed. I'm an American. Yes. And I'm part of it, too. I'm part of it, and I'm willing to admit that. You know, Every time I reach for a straw, when I could take a pla I could take a straw that's not plastic that I have at home, that's a bit of greed in me. That says, well, dang it, yeah. I want my straw. <laughs> you know? So I'm, I'm part of that, you bet. Yeah, but you incorporated uh, American greed in so many different ways that, yes. you know, I think just from, you know, a political standpoint as well is that Americans are starting to take a look at the whole perspective, which is right. sort of what you put together in your music video. Yes, it does hit everything. So it's not just about money. I love money. We have to have money. It gets us around. It gives us freedom. I love that. It's just the question. It does pose a question, and that is how much is enough? That's number one. Are you willing to share it and do good things with it? And then also it, it hits on a now broader uh, perspective. It talks about sex trafficking. That's for money drugs for money, um, all of the things that go on in our world right now that is up the politics, the, the corporate greed, really. And, uh, and there's a lot of it. And how, so it poses the question, how far would you go for money? How much is enough? And how much is enough? I feel, good question. I feel if I had access, let's say, for instance, I'll give you an example. Right now I'm starting to write for film and TV. There's a lot of licensing deals in there that could be a lot of money. And I've looked at that and I feel that, you know, you get your essentials and have some fun with that. And you also want to tithe some money to nonprofits. You know, Tom and I are very involved with nonprofits here in Sedona. We give back a lot. It's mostly our time and talents. But I would really love to be able to be that person who gives some money for a scholarship, let's say, or set up some sort of a, 
a trust that goes towards something. I don't know. You know, we're really animal, big animal fans too. So we've done a lot of that, giving back to uh, you know, the Humane Society and Golden Bone Rescue and I'd like to do more of that, you know. Well, Chandra, it's so much fun just watching your journey um, thank through you all so this. Much, so thank you so much. And how can people find out about your film? Well, first of all, you can go to my YouTube channel because I cleared it of everything because nobody would ever believe like all those other songs are like, that is not the same person. And I'm a deeply confused. <laughs> so I cleared it. And if you go to Greed Incorporated and look up Greed Incorporated Chandra, you will find it there. Please like and subscribe. Really appreciate that because Google is watching. And um, also, it's in the film festival again. It was on the 23rd, which was Sunday at 4. Now it's coming up on Friday at 4 o'clock at Mary Fisher. Awesome. So well, I'm excited. I am too. I am too. So go out and see Chandra's film on Friday at Mary Fisher Theater. And uh, also follow us too on social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Follow us with hashtag Sedona Film Fest 2020 and hashtag Sedona Film Fest 26. We'll be back with more filmmaker interviews after this.